I'm Kat Becker from Kat Taylor Organics. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our germination chamber. So our germination chamber is made with untreated wood. It's lined with greenhouse plastic with pink foam insulation. We also lay a piece of pink foam insulation on the bottom, which helps insulate our little water humidity heat um, unit that we have here. And that is just a small animal float for their water hooked up to a food grade stainless pan. And then it's a wired um, water heater for a like trailer or a small camper. And you can get all of that stuff at pretty much the hardware store. And then we have it connected to like an Inkbird um, thermostat that you can order anywhere on the internet. It's screwed in, so I can't show it to you. Um, and then it has a sensor that you can put anywhere in there. And you can also use these um, connected to cooling and heating units if you happen to live in a hot environment, which we don't. Um, and then we just have basically bolts that were run through the wood here and that's what's holding on these conduit shelves. If you decide to just use two pieces, make sure your flats aren't gonna collapse, that they're sturdy enough. Um, and we can fit a lot of flats, like 80-ish flats in here. Um, and then our cover, which we need to repair because it is the end of the season and we haven't fixed anything, um, is this is just like the gor Gorilla Tape, which tends to work better, and the bubble insulation. If you're like mildly smarter than we are, you could size your germination chamber for the si like size of bubble wrap insulation you can get. And then we just use, if you come over here to the side, we just have like hinges with a piece of wood. And then this is just a bungee strap that holds it on. Um, and that holds it in and keeps the heat really well. We also use this when it's hot in the greenhouse in the summer as a cooler space. So you can close it and it'll keep it cooler and dark. Um, so it's like a multi-use, both heating and then providing some shade germination chamber. Depending on the type of time of the season, I mean, we put um, all of our onions in here. We do put cucurbits in, but we often transfer those onto heat mats. We put all of our brassica crops in, solanaceous crops, almost all crops that require a slightly higher temperature, especially in the spring, because we're in a very northern environment. And so we keep our greenhouse temperature slightly cooler than you might in a warmer environment because heating is expensive. And so this allows us to get really consistent germination. Um, we will use it for crops like lettuce if we need to have it a little bit cooler in the intermediate season. And then also ginger, if you grow ginger, we do use a germination chamber. We actually have a smaller one that also needs more repair that we have used for ginger or for different temperatures. Like if you are doing a lot of starters, and microgreens um, also do well in there if that's something that you're growing on your farm.